Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a series of tutorial videos that I thought would be quite handy to make. This first one is going to be on Mistcraft. Um, I am in the Mistcraft world itself. And uh, Mistcraft, the mod, has recently been introduced into the, into the latest version of the Technic Pack. However, only the linking book is in the recipe. None of the other components are. Uh, any either is. But they are still craftable. For example, the very first item you will need is some uh, sugar canes. Turn it into some paper. Turn this paper into a book. And what you must always do in the first step for Mistcraft is to put your book in your crafting square and this will turn it into a linking book, which is this. And what this will do is that whenever you're out of the dimension, including the nether, so for example if I went to a different Mistcraft world, I would right click this and this would be black, I'd click that and I would be back to exactly this point facing exactly the same direction because that is where I was when I made it. Secondly, you will need, well, making book, already done that. Uh, next one will be a descriptive book, which I will show you what to do with in a second. Next is a, um, this is called a link book stand. This is the recipe, it is craftable, but it is not in any eye. And what you do with this, you craft it, you place it down, there's a little Y shaped thing here. And you place your next. Uh, you place your Mistcraft book on it. Um, I'll just get a oh, a few of these out, if I could. Uh, there we go. Just get two. That'll do. They do stack, by the way. I'll just place them like that. And lastly, but not least, the the writing desk, which has a name. So, oh, it isn't here. Okay, writing desk isn't here. And this is effectively two bookcases. Well, they looks like two bookcases put together. But if you retrieve this book and place it in here, um, oh, sorry, one thing I did forget is that we will need a notebook, which yes, is in here. Sweet. Um, you place the notebook up in here, and you see how it's blank. What you can do, a bit of a sneaky way, is to go on creative mode and then search down the list for a notebook. You can see I'm totally prepared for this. Uh, notebook, where are you? Dumpty dum. Herp de derp. There you are. The creative mode notebook is a bit different from that note, the uh, NEI notebook, in that it will include all of the Mistcraft object um, properties. So now we can choose our biome and lighting and all that. So to put this in practical use, we put our empty age here, which we have done nothing with. And actually, yeah, let's go to it. Let's see what we generate. And you see the interface is very much like when you go to the nether. It creates the chunks, saves them, and builds them, etc, etc. And as the world is generating, it's rather slow, but as it, as it has already generated, or when it's already generated, it will be considerably faster and much easier to travel with, or travel to and from. So let's see what completely random combination of Mistcraft properties we've been left with. Okay, that was rather interesting. Um, I actually had to force close the game because it crashed. That can happen with Mistcraft. It is not a perfect mod by any means. It can encounter bugs. But once I went back into the game, I finally got into the world. And this looks like it's, well, very fresh. It looks like it's a cave world. So. Everything, in theory, should be underground, despite the minimap suggesting otherwise. And yeah, this is the type of world generation that can happen in Mistcraft. Um, it's ever so slightly temperamental, and can cause very many um, bugs and crashes and stuff. So I highly recommend that you go, for the time being, go into cheat mode and save your inventory. So that if you do crash, you and run the risk, uh, which runs the risk, of wiping your player info you can restore your items. So, it looks like we have Cave World, it looks like we have a Mooshroom Island biome, it looks like we have, I want to say tiny biomes, so I might be wrong, maybe small biomes. Uh, so yeah, so now to demonstrate the link book, so I place the link book stand down, this goes back to the Age of Tutorials, which was the main world that I was in, and we travel back. Hooray, back safe and sound. So age 53, it's just a generic number. I don't know why it starts so high, because I haven't made any previous to this. 
You now see that we have some icons here. This indicates what features the world will include. Huge biomes, wow, I was massively wrong. Extreme Hills Edge, Mushroom Island Shore, Extreme Hills Edge, again, sometimes it doubles up. It doesn't usually make a difference with biomes, but it does with other things. Obelisks, which we saw, Strongholds, which we didn't, Bright World, which was cool, it was Cave World, so in theory it should be dark, but it wasn't. Eternal Weather, didn't see that. Fast Time and Cave World, there we go. So what we would do in theory is if we had a blank notebook, um, which I can just do now, spawn one in, and we take this one out. If we had a blank notebook and playing legitly, we would have nothing in here. Once we put this in here, it would teach the writing desk the information that was stored on this book, effectively like a transmutation table. Why do I have cricket sounds? Stop it. And they are there permanently, unless you lose the notebook. But in the creative mode notebook, we have all of them anyway. So, what we can do now is to make another um, descriptive book, which of course, uh, and another link book. Very, very important to make another link book, because they will remain in the age that you leave them in. So, yeah, another book here. Um, don't bring any feathers. Oops. Feathers. This is a shapeless recipe, a book and a feather makes a descriptive book. And what we can do now with all of the information here is take this one out and throw it. Nope. There we go. It effectively, effectively acts as a mob so you can damage it. I don't know how much HP it has but it can be killed and will instantly die when you put it in water. But there's age 54. We can now click on these. So let's have um, forest. See forest appears there. Uh, forest hills. That'd be cool. Why not? Uh, hell biome. That might be an interesting combination. Um, let's leave it at that for now. So yeah, all of these, so desert, um, tiger, all that frozen snow biome. They're all legit Minecraft um, types. But we have the unique um, unique Miscraft combinations. So biome controller. So let's describe it um, controls how large they are. So let's do tiny biomes so we can hopefully get some differentiation. Let's make it a bright world so we can see what we're doing. And let's make it, for cool things, let's make it a black sky with, um, black sky, oh, okay, this one first. Uh, this will generate structures in the world. So let's do glowstone crystals and normal crystals. These crystals will, are a miscraft related item. And no star, oh, starfisher, there we go. Terrain generation. Let's do, uh, Let's do standard so we don't mess up anything. You can make a void world, which will literally spawn you on one block, and the rest will be a void. And the one block will be stone, not bedrock, so watch out for that. Um, time, let's make it eternal day, because that's nice. Weather, no weather. World modifier, dense ores. Spam dense ores, oh yeah. And even though we've just, even though we've um, customized our world, we'll still get some a few gen, uh, a few random generations. But before we go, let's spawn us in uh, a little nifty item, Red Morning Star. We have some a clan, a clan star with us, and this link book, yep, linking book. And let's see what we get. Hopefully, this won't crash this time. But dense ores is very very handy for mining, but it will cause corruption. Uh, instability, rather. And as far as I know, it's the only thing that does. Ooh. Okay, we seem to have spawned in a skyland, which is very, very not useful for mining. But uh, as you can see here, there are loads of dense ores and nether ores. That's pretty cool. And the sound of an ocean. Okay, I'll turn, on. Just turn off Matmos. Thank you. Um, oops, I pressed F8 by mistake. There we go. So, as we programmed in, we have the glowstone crystals. Um, don't seem to have any... Any... Oh, thorncraft crystals, here we go. So let's get a few of... Oops, no, don't make me fall. Yeah, it can be a bit laggy when you're, when you're first creating, but... These dense ores... Let me right-click, no. Obviously charged. There we go. Cool. Yeah, dense ores, you see how close they are together. 
these crystals are part of Mistcraft and can be used in, in conjunction with linking books to make portals. Very much like the nether portals. So, I'll go quickly show you this. Cool. And uh, yeah, the Skylands feature was one of the random features added into the world, which was kind of uh, not really wanted. Right click, there we go. So yeah, that was a bit awkward. Um, yeah, what we can do now is use this to create a portal. It can be any size really, so long as it's a complete portal and has enough room for you to go through it. And what we need to do now is to make a panel. Uh, just quickly see if I can remember the recipe. Um, uh, no, I can't. One sec. Okay, that was rather easy to work out. So in order to make a link book, I mean a linking panel thingy, we first need to get these crystals and then put them in a circle like that. Gets us a, um, what does the wiki call it? A book receptacle. And all you simply do with this is plop it on the side of a, of a portal like this. Put in a world. So let's put in our age 54. All right, right click. And there we go, we have a portal. So let's jump through. And it acts like a linking book, but something you can go through. Uh, let's just find where we had the other linking book. Here we go. And again, we could do exactly the same thing here. Uh, build a portal. Just uh, get a few more crystals. And yeah, even though they're making the sound of glowstone smashing, they're not actually breaking. This is the, the normal form. So let's uh, plop down one of these, make another book receptacle, and we need that. Oops. Take this out, make another portal. This is probably a bad, eye, bad location, but never mind. As far as I know, it does have to be in complete circle, so unlike the nether portal, um, Actually, well, I'll test this. Uh, let's take our Age of Tutorials book out of here. Right click. Right clicking, by the way. So I'm accessing the menu the interface thing. Right click again. Okay, it doesn't have to be complete. I was wrong. Anyway, we can jump through this. And last but not least, in terms of this tutorial, if we just get the portal gun out, I'll show you something that's quite funny. I hope this will work with a horse. I haven't actually tried this before. What can be quite funny, yes, you are going through this portal, is, as I just said, mobs and creatures can go through this portal, but this falls is too big. Go on, this duck will do. Come back, come back. Eh. I will get to you. There we go. So yeah, mobs can, mobs and items can go through this portal. There's a bit of lag, as you saw, and just throw some items in here. It will lag because you're effectively generating the other world at the same time as you're in you're being in this world. So it will lag. We go through here again. And all of our stuff is here because this is where we made the portal. So I hope this has been very useful. Um, I shall be doing a series of tutorials. So if you like this, please leave a like. And if you'd like me to do a tutorial on a specific mod in the Technic Pack, then please do leave a comment and I probably will. So thank you again for watching and I shall see you in the next tutorial.